Hello ladies and gentlemen, Max Miss here with A1 Website Pro and today we're going to be learning how to do this. If I refresh this, you can see that the text is being typed out one letter at a time. Okay, so this is a cool feature. You could implement it in your applications. There's, it's a lot of fun and it's not that hard to do. So without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and come back here and we will start with our bare bones HTML document and uh, let's give it a title shall we we will use JavaScript to type out text on web page and we'll title that right here and uh, we'll go inside our body tag and our HTML document and we're gonna first of all we're gonna assign a div ID of type text okay now in this div this is where all the magic is going to happen Next thing we'll do is we'll drop down to another line and I will pop in the script that is going to make this all happen. Okay, and this is pretty much it, but let me explain everything to you. So uh, first we set a variable of my text and we put inside quotations, this text is being typed out with JavaScript and we terminate that on the end. Next variable we set is my array which is holding the variable of my text but we're using this split function within the uh, JavaScript. Basically the split function is going to make this array because it takes every one of these letters one at a time and puts a comma after each one even a space even a space it'll put a comma in there so that you have that split now if if we did it like this it would take the whole word but we want it to have every space so that's why we have no spaces in there if you do this something like this it wouldn't work as well all right so the next thing we do is we set a variable of loop timer okay and this is what's going to be looping this uh, information so we call the function frame looper so if my array length is greater than zero then we're going to execute this statement right here which is document dot get element by id type text and that's where this id comes in okay and then we get, target the inner html which is the center of that div and then we're going to add the each split each letter we're going to add each letter and that's what this little plus equals does okay if we took off that plus it wouldn't work and then i'll show you a couple scenarios on you know taking different stuff out and the way it works but in the way we take my array and then we call in the shift function now what the shift function does is it shifts everything over to the left everything one like if you have It'll, first it'll take off this and then it'll take off text okay that's what shift does and then you have the rest then it'll take off is alright so it keeps shifting everything alright but we're using this plus sign so that it's adding each one consecutively okay each letter consecutively and we get each letter by the split here okay now else we're gonna clear timeout looper time Loop, looper timer okay so we're gonna we're gonna clear it we're, we're gonna say uh, after this entire s sentence is typed out and this could be as long as you want it to be okay but after it's typed uh, after it's totally done then what we want to do is clear that uh, timeout and then return false so it stops at the end otherwise it would keep on going and then here's our loop timer variable set timeout frame looper and this is the speed the speed at which the lower the number the faster the higher the number the, s the slower it goes okay and then finally we just call the, the function frame looper all right so that's the function that we're calling to make everything work and so let me just save this open up our document I'll refresh and you can see that it's that it's going now let me show you a couple things here because this is going to be handy for you to know if we put another space in the split okay it's going to kind of screw things up but let me show you what it does okay it doesn't put our uh, spaces in there because it's looking for our spaces and taking them out okay and we don't want 
we don't want our spaces taken out so we take that if I take off this little plus sign okay it's no longer going to concatenate and add the text it's going to just show you one letter at a time okay all right and that's not readable so that's why that little plus sign is important okay and here's the speed let's set this to 200 and I'll show you how slow it goes okay so you can adjust the speed by adjusting that number down there and so let's go let's set it down to 10 we'll save that we'll refresh it in our browser and you can see that it types it out very fast okay all right so that's why uh, 70 is a good speed for that all right, I hope this tutorial was interesting, informative, and I hope you can use it in your applications. Uh, one of the things that you can do is you can put a PHP variable in here, like let's say that you're using WordPress or uh, some other uh, type of content management system, maybe an Easy Blue system. You can put your uh, titles in here and have your titles typed out, or you can have your articles typed out. The only thing this isn't going to work well with is images and, and scripts and links and anything that you have to put. Um, you know uh, a uh, HTML code but if as long as you're dealing with straight text this is going to be perfect for you all right this is Max with Avon Website Pro I hope you liked the lesson please like share and subscribe